fast, hard finish together, broken up into our core behaviors are those things that implement those four values. Okay? Fast, A to B, force focus, elite preparation. Hard, four to six, relentless effort, embrace toughness, finish, plus two, as long as it takes. And then the last one, together, nine units strong and uncommon commitment. All right? It is our hope that you know some of these. It is our goal that as we get through with this process, you will know them all and start to understand them even better. So we're going to start today by looking at this first component, A to B. Okay? So it fits under FAST. And we always start out every year talking about FAST, but not in the context that we typically think about it. When we hear that word, Aiden, when you hear FAST, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Okay, four to six, speed, the way in which you do something, right? But when we talk about fast and we talk about our outcome, our behavior A to B, we're talking about the ability to do something efficiently, the ability to do something with a sense of urgency and accomplish a task. Okay, so it is defined as roles are clearly defined and therefore athletes move with a sense of urgency every situation requires. All right, go ahead to the next one, coach. So what does that mean? Okay, let's break down the first part. Roles are clearly defined. That means that you understand what you are supposed to be doing. You understand what you're accountable for, what your job is, what your role is. All right. So, for example, Perk, during the football season, what is your role? Okay. As the center to line everybody else up. What else? Snap the ball. Okay. Play starts and finishes with you, right? So you have to understand what your job is, what you fit in that, and how to do it. The more you understand, the more you understand what to do on 12, the better you can do your job, right? If we were to take somebody and put them into a different position for the first time, are they going to understand with clarity their role? Not initially. But the more they work at it, the more they understand what they're supposed to do, the more clearly defined that role is going to become to them. And then we get to the second part, with a sense of urgency that every situation requires. What does that mean? What's a sense of urgency, Abram? Okay. Doing something as fast as you can. Is that always the case? Dylan, what's a sense of urgency? Doing it with a purpose. Okay. What do you mean by that? That's exactly right. Expand on that for me. Okay. Caring about it? 100%. If you don't care about something, are you going to do it with a purpose? No. No? Okay. What else, Logan, Ray? Sense of urgency. What does it mean? Okay. Help him out, Danny. Okay, doing it efficiently, Logan. You raise your hand, my man. <laughs> okay. Okay. Doing it efficiently. So let's let's break down what that word is because a Oftentimes, what we find with this, guys, is that we regurgitate information, we regurgitate things that we've heard, but we don't necessarily understand it. So what does it mean to be efficient? Taj? Okay. Does it always mean doing it as quick as you can? No. What does it mean, Dalton? Okay, doing it the correct way all the time, 100%. What else, No. Going smoothly. Having a plan. Smoothly, having a plan. Eli? Getting, out, getting the most out of all your opportunities. Getting the most out of all the opportunities. The most effective way. The most effective way. For example, okay, I'm the first person that is talking to you this offseason about our culture and about one of these core values and one of these behaviors, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Every other coach is going to come up at some point and talk about another one of our behaviors and one of our core values. 
my efficiency of having to be prepared to start talking to you today is different than theirs. My role was I was supposed to start talking today. If I think I was talking to Coach Z earlier, he talks on the 30th. Well, if, if we're doing it as quickly as possible, he'd already be done. Is that necessarily the case with his role and what he is supposed to be doing? With the sense of urgency every situation requires. There's a reason that's the second part. It doesn't just mean as fast as you can do something, as quick as you can do something, because oftentimes if we do it as fast or as quick, there's a higher margin for error. That means that there's a more probable chance that something can go wrong. What it means is roles are clearly defined. You understand completely what you are supposed to do, what your job is. Therefore, when you have that clarity that we talk about, and you understand exactly what your purpose is, exactly what your job is on that play, in that situation, then you can move with a sense of urgency that that situation requires. If it means you have to make a decision right now, you have that ability to do so. If it means that you have the ability to make a plan and know what you need to do in a week's time or a month's time, you have the ability to do so. It's different than just doing it as quick as I can because if so, I'd just be rushing through everything trying to do it with speed, not a sense of urgency, not completely with detail and focus and all those other things that you guys gave to me. Okay, so there's a difference there. And that's what we really need to focus and harp on and work on. Excellent, Coach. Is that it? Okay. So as we keep going forward, and as we move into Wednesday, we're going to go and we're going to talk about different roles. Because it's easy for me to draw parallels to the weight room. We can all find an A to B there. We can find a clearly defined role that you fill and something that you need to understand in order to do something efficiently with a sense of urgency, right? I can make parallels. That means I can give you examples from the football field. But what we're going to start to do this offseason, we're going to start to draw these more outside of just football in the weight room. We're going to talk about them in the classroom. We're going to talk about them at home. Okay, so when we come back on Wednesday, we'll continue to expand this. I'm going to have a handout for you where we will talk about your specific roles how they differ and what they mean so that you can work to get that clarity to understand exactly what your defined role is and start to apply A to B to that. Everybody good? Yes, sir. Okay. You got anything else for them?